Hi, welcome back to my channel. I have another uh, book review for you, and this is The Book of Moods by Lauren Martin. It says that she's also the founder of Wars of Women, and it's how I turned my worst emotions into my best life. Now, when I do these reviews, I don't have a single note, so I'm giving you the benefit of my memory in these reviews. Now, usually when I get books for review, I get a publisher letter, but for some reason, I can't find the one that came with this one, but we'll go on. This is from Grand Central. Oh, I can tell you why. This is from Grand Central Publishing. They don't send a letter like some of the other publishers do. They send an invoice. So that's this book here. Um, this book is already released. So because it's already released, I was able to kind of cheat a little bit and get it via audiobook from my library in order to listen to it. And that allowed me to cross stitch while I was listening to the book. So let's talk about the book. Now, it starts off saying, I am no longer a woman who walks through the door ready to burst. A woman who assumes the moods of others, absorbing them and passing them off as her own. A woman who reacts and retaliates and rewinds scenarios like worn out cassette tapes. How I expel, I radiate, I pass through. For most of her life, Lauren Martin thought that she only that only she experienced insecurity and self-doubt that could derail her entire day. But after a chance encounter with a beautiful, successful stranger who revealed that she felt the same, Lauren realized that she wasn't alone. She set out to better understand the hold that her moods had on her and began to blog about the wisdom she uncovered. It exploded into an online community of women who felt like she did, lost irritable, depressed, anxious, and desirous of change. The Book of Moods shares Lauren's journey to infuse her life with a sense of peace and stability. Each chapter explores a different psychological trigger, from familiar arguments to Sunday scaries, explaining the theories of anxiety, disappointment, and ego that helped her better understand herself. This conversational compendium of moods has something for everyone, whether you're struggling with your relationship with your mother, the grind of your job, days when you wish you had, the, wish the mirror had a Valencia filter, or all of the above. Blending cutting edge science, timeless philosophy, and effective forms of self care, Martin has written a powerful, intimate, and incredibly relatable chronicle of transformation. So, there are also some quotes by others at the back. I'll just grab the one in the middle from Bobby Brown, the best-selling author and renowned makeup artist. She says, hilariously witty, unflinchingly honest, and brimming with hope, the Book of Moods teaches that with authenticity and a little self-coaching, you can take ownership of your emotions and your own life. Lauren Martin's contagious curiosity leads straight to what she calls the cornerstone of chill. And you know what? The journey is half the fun. So that's just one of three quotes that are on the back of the book. Now, how is this book laid out? It's laid out with several sections. Each section is entitled The Mood, and then there's the section that it pertains to. So you have The Mood. The first one is The Past and Present. The next one is beauty. So let me tell you what the other ones are. Work, friends, family, the body, and unforeseen occurrences. Now, every section starts off with a subsection called the mood described. So for example, the past and the future, excuse me, the past and the future, the mood described. Then it goes on, the, the next section in each the next chapter in each section is what the mood is telling you. And then it gives her experiences with swiping left, left, you know, the dating world. Okay, then we move on and then it ends with the mood transformed. So a lot of these sections here, I know I'm covering my face, are repeated in each section. So when it said the mood described or what the mood is telling you or the mood transformed, those are repeated for each 
aspect of life that is discussed in this book. So then she talks about beauty and stop thinking that uh, I never I said this in my vi other video, but I can't say it right. Let me read it again. Stop thinking you know what you look like. Stop self-cherishing. Stop looking in the mirror. You know how many of us have body positivity issues? On the one hand, I've accepted who I am, but on the other hand, I would love to look in the mirror and see a different a different person. Then it talks about mood regarding to work and how her experiences with work affected her mood. Because remember, it's how she turned her worst emotions into her best life. Then she has something in here about friends. And this is something that I needed right now in my life. Because it talks, of course, the mood described and what the mood is telling you. But find your flow. Rejection isn't rejection. Everyone's a freak and doing things you don't want to do. So all of these things about friendship are explored and they're very, it's very, very helpful, especially like with us in the world of social media, especially with the pandemic and most of our interactions with people are through this screen, through a computer screen with the keyboard. And so we are developing these relationships that will some be good, very good friendships and some that will be toxic friendships. Then she talks about family and how everybody has a role in the family and how communication versus conversation. Yes. And then understand you don't understand. Then she moves on to the body. Now, when she talked about the body, uh, she was experiencing some uh, female problems. And so she talked about how her mood affected her physiology. So she learned to acknowledge her menstrual cycle. She had to learn about sleep hygiene, finding the right bedtime. Like for example, not even uh, just changing the blue screen. You know, like when you go to bed, don't have your phone, don't have your tablet, developing a good sleep hygiene. And then also giving your body a routine. And routine is something that is very good and very instrumental to helping us to control our moods. Because if we don't have some type of routine, we could be really frazzled and that's gonna affect our mood, which affects our mentality, which affects our physical health. And last, the last section is unforeseen, excuse me, unforeseen circumstances. And how we have to figure out what that mood is regarding unforeseen circumstances, what it's telling us about ourselves. Then a couple of chapters are think of the feathers you'll get and moment of appreciation. And then the mood transformed. Excellent, 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 excellent book. Um, I want to thank forever. Now this one, Grand Central Publishing, I did request this. Uh, some of the other books that I talk about in these video reviews were sent to me directly from the publisher, like Celadon or St. Martin's Press or Minotaur. Well, I'm not doing any Minotaur reviews right now anyway. But this one, I did request it because it really appealed to me. And I'm super glad that I read it. And I hope that uh, it appeals to you too. So that's it for this video. It's shorter than some of the other ones, but I, I feel like I've said everything I can say about this book. I'm going to link the book in the description below. I want to thank Grand Central Publishing for this book, and I'll be back with more. Thank you. Bye-bye.